I like espresso and I like adding a little milk to it, but sometimes using this wand right here to steam milk is a little bit of a faff. And sometimes I'm impatient. So I bought this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda out here next to my espresso maker, and I really love it. It gives me a hot shot of coffee in the morning when I really need it. But sometimes I just don't feel like fussing with this. There are quicker ways to make espresso. You can throw a K-cup in the coffee maker sometimes. The Nespresso's actually make true espressos, but a lot of times I want some of that delicious, creamy, silky milk with it. And sometimes I don't want to sit here and use the wand and steam my own milk. So I was looking for an easier way to get it done. So here's what I picked up. It's a milk frother and it says it's automatic and electric, just like me. So I was curious about checking this out because sometimes you're just looking for that gourmet coffee with as little work as possible. And so this might be able to make me that hot, steamed, frothy, delicious milk to pour in a cup of espresso or multiple cups and be much easier than individually steaming them. So first of all, we get, looks kind of like a kettle here. This is a plastic outside. I mean, it's got a nice shape, but this is all plastic here. So construction feels a little cheap, but it's not expensive. You can see on this little hump here, we get a power button right there. And then we get this acrylic top. Kind of reminds me of like the top that you would put on the top of those double walled stainless steel Stanley mugs. And then inside here, we get a reservoir. Now I want to show you that it goes down to right about here. Okay, so I think the bottom is right about there. And you could probably pour in quite a bit of milk. It looks like the max fill line is maybe about 60% of the way up the side there. And that's because I think this is gonna froth. And so you want a little bit of space up there. My guess there is that you could probably put in like 10, 11, 12 ounces of milk maybe. And then on the bottom, you can see what looks like a little circular spring. I think that is the stirrer and you get an extra one that will spin and froth that milk up. And then you can see on the bottom, we get a connector there. And that's because in here, there is a base that this will sit on and provide power. So a three prong outlet there. And then this will transmit the power to one, heat up the milk, but also to stir it up. So you'll let it do its work on here. And then this will come off so that you can pour that Nice little, but very subtle spout right there into your coffee. The nice thing about this is it should produce enough frothy steamed milk for, I would say, two serious cups of espresso. The other thing that you get here is a cleaning wand. Now, I would say this is pretty big and I have kind of chubby hands, but I can probably get my hand in there to do some cleaning, but it's kind of nice to have that little wand. You might be able to see there, I can spin that spring. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is start making myself some espresso so that we can test how well this works. All right, so I have the base plugged in here and I'm just gonna use some 2% milk. I'm actually going to fill this up to that max line because I wanna see what it does and I'm sure you do too. The other thing that I will say is I just pulled this out of the refrigerator. So it is whatever the refrigerator temperature is, 45 degrees. Now I'm gonna put this on here and I wanna show you what ends up happening. Now I'm gonna put the cap on the top here because I wanna show you here is when I power this on, it will go through the different modes. The first one is froth and steam. The next one is just steam or warm. This third one down there is just froth. And then this one down there is heat up hot chocolate. So I'm going to just select that. And then two seconds after selecting it, what ends up happening is it starts to go. So as you can see here, that thing is stirring and I filled it to the max fill line, which is now spinning this just below the lid there. Ah, now it's actually touching the lid. So it is actually increasing the volume of this guy and heating it up. And my assumption is that it will tell you when it's done somehow, but you know what? To be honest, I probably should have filled it up to that max fill line. I mean, it's not overflowing or anything. Thank goodness there's that silicone ring in there, but now it's starting to worry me just a little bit, but it does look pretty frothy and it's starting to actually look pretty thick. All right, so we'll wait and see what it does. I want to interject here because there is another max fill line right there and that is for the frothing, I believe. So that was user error on my part. All right, y'all, I'm gonna give you a little warning here based on the experience of a moron. Do not fill it to the max fill line, at least if you're using 2% milk. I think the fattier the milk, like a whole milk, doesn't froth as much, but 2% does froth. And what I wanna show you is it is definitely going down the sides. I have milk kind of going 
and everywhere, but I definitely have more milk on the countertop than I would like. So if you are going to fill it, use the max fill line as a very liberal line. Be a little more conservative, go a little bit lower than that. I don't know how much lower, but 10% lower, 15% lower. Okay, just my experience. All right, I think this thing is almost done because I'm starting to see a little steam seep out of there. So I think this milk is probably pretty hot. I wanna show you that it's probably run here for two minutes-ish and it definitely froths because we're getting very frothy milk down here. But look at it, that's terrible. It's gone off, shut off on its own. I would say we're probably at the three minute mark. I'm not totally sure, but we'll say, first of all, that's hot. You can feel the steam coming off there and it is quite frothy as per the evidence there. But that's a rookie mistake, a noob mistake. We want to see how it tastes. So I have a quadruple shot of espresso right here and I'm just going to start pouring in this. Oh man, it is. Oh my gosh, that is incredible froth. Look how much I can pour in there. You know, this is your standard cup here. Oh my gosh. It actually looks amazing. And I probably have enough in there to do another cup almost exactly like this. And probably enough here to do another cup as well. But man, that looks kind of incredible. Let's stir it up and try it. All right. Despite the milk on my hand, I'm not going to hold that against it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. How nice does that look? Let's give it a little stir here. Got my coffee already in there. And then Mm. Oh my gosh. You know what? That's coffee and milk. Tastes so decadent. It kind of reminds me of something that has sugar in it, which it doesn't. It's just so light and sweet and obviously doesn't have any edge on it. Man, if you want to froth milk quickly and easily without having to do anything, well, this is the easy way to go. Just remember, stay below the max fill line. Mm. All right. I'm making one more of these. If you want to pick up this milk frother, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.